Hi everyone, welcome back to Monday Meds. I hope your week is off to a great start. Yes, happy Monday to you and welcome back to those who are who have um, been joining me all these months, almost two years now. Thank you so much. And for those of you who are new to my channel, new to Monday Meds, welcome. Thank you for all your subscription. I see we are 170 strong. Thank you, Jesus. And yes, yeah, so last week we did talk about our root, and I showed you our root. This week we're going to be talking about the uses of our root. And um, for, like I said in my video last week, it's a very great, um, it's a tuber, it's a great food. And um, today we will talk more on how great of a food this, our root, this tuber is. And um, you know, like, like I told you about tubers like potatoes and um, there's also carrot and there's yams and all of those ground provisions. Yes, those are tubers. And yes, arrowroot is one of those great foods you want to have, um, not just for internally, but also externally. As I promised you last week, I'm going to be showing you what I've done with the arrowroot so far. And um, yes, come and look. So, so far, this is what I've done with it. So this is the starch that's being made of the arrowroot. Yes, that's the juice. Um, so my, my mother-in-law, thank you so much, mom, for that. She actually grated it for me. And um, I was able to juice it. Let me put this down. I was able to juice it and um, get the juice from it. And that's the juice that settled. And I threw off the top layer of the, um, the juice. Now, the juice is great. Like I talk about um, arrowroot being good for poison. It's good for poison. Um, the juice can be used for poison. It can be used for so many things. Inflamed stomach. Um, if you have... Um, what is it if you have um, bowel problems if you have colic you have nausea vomiting urine problems if you have um, diarrhea it's very good for that the juice um, that's the um, the whole thing juicing it juicing that what that which was grated to um, get in that juice not the starch the juice itself and um, also the starch which is what is being made now is it's being settled um, so backtrack how do you get the juice you grate the arrowroot you wash it first you grate it and then or you can pound it in a mortar beat it and then you juice it and the juice you should put through a, a sieve or a, a, a a cloth, a clean cloth, and and um, get that juice out of it. This one I put it through a strainer. I'm gonna try to see what it is like, and um, also um, it uh, is it it can be used to make a make starch. So that's the starch that's being done. You can use it to make porridge. I remember my mom making porridge for me as a child. Thank you so much, so much, mommy. Yes, I learned a lot from you. And um, yes, it can use to um, help your immune system. And um, many of you are aware of the the coronavirus that's going on out of China. Next week I'm going to be doing a video specifically on how you can build your immune system against viruses. I know there's a lot of, um, well we've had a lot of cooler temperatures now in Jamaica and so it's a part of seasons changing too. So yes, um, I'm going to be doing that video next Monday. Look out for it. I will be doing that um, as you know, I like to be current on what is going on health-wise in our world. And um, so the, the, the arrow root is good for Crohn's disease. It's good for gut problems like Crohn's disease. It's good for gluten, gluten intolerance. Um, you can cook the arrow root so you can cook it. You can make the starch from it and use it to make... Um, porridge you can use it to make thickeners um, yes it is one of those that is um, cornstarch it's it's from that family 
um, or it is a similar way you can also infuse the leaves like I said I didn't have the leaves but because once the tuber it comes and you get it you the leaves dry up so you wouldn't get the leaves um, while having the tuber you can um, infuse the leaves in water and you can use it for a lot of properties that I'm talking about you can mash the, the tubers up like I talked about and you can also use it as a paste now you can use it that's internally as I told you and now externally you can use it on your skin remember last week I told you that you can use it as an emollient so it softens the skin it's great for baby making baby powders naturally yes you use that starch you can mix it with herbs and use it as medicated powder isn't arrowroot wonderful yes it is it can be used for wounds it can be used for bites insect bites scorpion bites so much more I am not able to tell you everything right now but one of the things I want to remind us as the psalmist says in Psalm 51 purge me with Isop and I will be clean wash me and I'll be whiter than snow yes God wants to purge us like arrowroot purges poison from the body God wants to purge us I pray you will have a wonderful week everyone and yes have a great finish to the month of January God be with you